This video um, follows from a recent demo we gave of Adaptable, our market-leading AG Grid extension. And during it, while we were speaking to the prospective client, we noticed that they built a very complex um, hundreds and hundreds of lines of code um, function, piece of functionality, which was essentially um, to show the user all the cells which have been edited um, and then with a context menu option to undo the edit. Um, so I built this demo just to show how you could do the same thing in Adaptable, but with um, radically less code and all built in to the API. Um, and the demos here, it's actually calling styling edited cells. Um, and you can see how it works. Here's a cell that's been edited. So I can say undo edit and I go back. Or for instance, if I was to do a smart edit, multiply all these by 10, then any of these I can right click and undo the edit and go back um, to the previous value. Um, so how do you do this? Well, there's a, there's a few steps involved. In fact, let's go full screen. Um, let's click show code. Um, and the first thing you do is actually you turn on what we call data change history. Data change history is a monitor that can look at all changes. So again, if you look at this example here, which is running the data change history, if we go full screen, you can see here, this is monitoring all the ticking data changes. Um, and it's telling me, you know, kind of for each cell, what changed, what the old value is, what the new value is. Um, and obviously you can do that um, both for ticking and normal data. So this is the monitor. But in fact, in this case here, we've turned on the actual um, tracking, but we're not showing the monitor. And as a result of that, it means we're now able to see any cell which is edited because we've also added the edited cell style in user interface options. And we've said that an edited cell is going to be gray and italic, which is indeed what we see here. So again, if I change this one to Python, um, well, misspelled Python, you can see that we have that style. But then the heart of what's going on is here in the context menu. Um, so we build a context menu option. We say it only appears in an edited cell, and we use one of the many thousands of methods in Adaptable's API, this time in Grid API, to say if a cell is edited. And if it is, then we add this um, menu item, we make it um, visible. And in the menu item, which we, ha we have a label called undo edit, you have the icon undo. And obviously the main thing is here in the on click function, where you can see that we get a change for the cell. And if there's a change, we then call the data change history API to undo that change. Um, so that's what's happening here. The menu item knows it's edited. It has undo edit. In that, and when I click this, it calls the data change history item to undo the edit. So there we are, um, far, far less code. We're able to turn on tracking, which is what we do here. We're able, if we wish, to paint edited cells so they're easy to see. And then we can add, um, again, through the options, a context menu item, a, a um, custom menu item, which will undo the edit. And all the calls we make just use Adaptable's API. So there's very, very little code outside of calling Adaptable API methods. As always, thank you for watching. If you've got other use cases, other instances where you've kind of written lots and lots of custom code, and you'd like to know if Adaptable can replace that with just a few lines um, of our own code, do please get in touch, and we'll be interested to see what the use case is and how we can help. Thank you for watching.